Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today I wanted to go over kind of my first thoughts on what I talked about in a, I can't remember what video it was, maybe the last one I just put out, uh, which was selling $100 candles coming up with a luxury line. This is kind of the part one, episode one, whatever you want to call it. This will definitely be part one. And what I'm trying to do with this one is basically go through and show you and tell you exactly kind of my thought process on what I'm trying to do to come up with. Uh, kind of a luxury candle line, something that I can put out there at uh, a little bit higher price. Now, I'm definitely not going for a $100 candle. Um, I just, there's no need for that, but I think I could easily put out a $40, $50, $60 candle and do pretty well with it. So of course, before I even get into that one, I've kind of narrowed down like my wax blend and everything like that. Uh, and I'll get to that at some point when I actually start filling the candles, but it'll definitely be something with uh, paraffin uh, just to get that stronger scent throw because I want it to be nice and strong. If you're gonna pay $50 for a candle, you definitely want it to be pretty strong. I mean, you want it to fill a house. The next thing I kind of started working on was kind of what vessel do I want to put with this? And I went through a bunch of different ones. I'm still testing probably like eight or nine different ones. So of course I went to a lot of the different websites trying to find out exactly what would work, what looks good. Uh, and of course, testing the jars. Uh, the ones I showed you a, like a week ago from 16, 17 are extremely nice. I love these. Uh, I, I can't remember exactly which one this is. I was leaning towards this one. I'm definitely gonna make a candle line in this uh, kind of uh, satin black, faded black one. This won't be my high end line, but this will definitely be a candle line that I put out. Uh, very nice jars. You can really do a lot with these. The build on those is really nice. It's, I mean, you can't really, you're not scratching anything off of that. They're really nice, but for the luxury line that I was kind of come up with, or the higher end line that I was coming up with, I wanted something a little bit bigger, probably 16 to 20 ounces, which is why I started branching out to a couple different ones. And then of course I was looking at the Wooden Wick and their collection of jars. They've got some really nice ones. The Aura is a really nice jar. I think that one's more in the line of like 13 to 14 ounces. This is the Aura, this is another one. This one definitely stood out a little bit more to me for what I was doing. Very nice jar. The build on that is really nice. The, uh, the black one is probably one of my favorites. Uh, still deciding on kind of what color I want to go with this one, uh, but this one really stood out. It's definitely one I like. Uh, again, this is probably one I'll have as a sideline. And then of course, once I got really going with this one, I, I, I thought I found a vessel. I thought I found like a look, uh, font, everything like that. I started looking at some packaging. And then of course, when I ordered them, they turned out to be much different than I actually thought they were. Uh, it was the jars I got from Glass Now. You guys have seen these in the last couple videos. Now this style, I definitely, I love these a lot. It's uh, uh, definitely a line I will have out. They'll be on the website. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with this one, uh, but these aren't going to work for the luxury line or the high end line. And the problem I have with these in coming up with the luxury line, and I'll see if I can get that in there. But you can see the crease in that one. Uh, you can see the line where they form the glass. And then of course, there's just a lot of blemishes See if I can find some of those. There's like little paint marks and everything like that. And these really aren't gonna work out for me. I like these jars quite a bit. Like I said, I will definitely put these out, uh, but there's no way I could charge more than, I mean, it's a bigger candle and with nice packaging. I mean, I could definitely sell this one for 25 to 35, I think fairly easy. And you could probably get a little bit more than that, but your market's gonna go, it's gonna go down quite a bit. It's, you're getting into more of a niche. And one of the things I really struggled with with this one is, I, I thought these were gonna be like a faded, or a, a kind of a, a, a frosted glass or a glass that was actually black. And it's just, it's just painted on there. And you can see, I mean, any, time, any type of wear, wear and tear on these things, see if I can get that, get my big head out of the way. So these right there, uh, nice glasses, but you get some wear and tear on that and your luxury line just looks like crap. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely one of those things you have to think of. It's one of those things you just won't know until you get the hardware in. But I actually like these quite a bit. I stuck with this one for quite a while. I was really trying to make it work. 
Uh, I went out and I got some nice packaging for these so that it matched up. Uh, I was gonna put the Stanley just a little bit bigger on this one. And then of course, with these, you got the top that comes off. The candles fit perfectly inside there. Maybe a little bit of foam on the bottom of that so it actually has something to bounce in between. Uh, but it actually fits really well in this one. Now these tubes, I actually like quite a bit. These could definitely stick with a luxury line. This is definitely something you could get away with. They're rather expensive if you buy them single. So you would definitely wanna make sure that you price your candles properly to get your to get your markup back out of that or to get your price back out of that. Uh, I think these run about $6 a piece. And of course, if you buy a thousand or more, they shoot way down. So of course you're gonna get them for like two bucks a piece. Uh, you can also get these embossed with your logo. Uh, I use the silhouette on this one, so I just put a sticker on that. It looks really nice, it does look good, but with the sticker on this one, it definitely doesn't scream $50 candle, $50 packaging. So that's kind of the reason why I stepped away from that one. And of course I was gonna do the same thing with the white one. And again, I do like this package quite a bit. I'm gonna have this one on the website at some point. It will definitely come in this packaging all together with uh, Stanley in the black down the side of this one. So I do like these quite a bit, but uh, again, definitely not, not really the quality that I was going for as far as uh, the luxury line or something that's really gonna scream and, uh, and basically make a customer, somebody coming in and seeing your candles, make them want to buy that at $50. Now there are definitely a lot of different vessels that are out there. Uh, I've got a bunch more coming that I'm really trying to test out. Uh, I still haven't ruled out a lot of vessels with uh, dream vessels. There's some in there that look really nice. Wooden Wick has some really nice ones. And of course, 1617 have some really nice ones too. And then of course, if you can get some stuff overseas, there are a lot of nice vessels overseas. Australia, the UK has some really nice stuff with the uh, London candle supply. But of course, you're gonna be looking at shipping uh, in kind of mass quantities to do something like that. And then of course, I'm like all over AliExpress and Alibaba trying to look at that stuff. Uh, very unique vessels, of course, if anybody's looked at Alibaba. It's a wholesaler's website out of China, so you can definitely look at that stuff. There's a lot of good stuff, but of course, you're gonna come down to minimum order quantities and trying to get samples from that so that you can basically see if the vessel is gonna work for you before you have to order 5,000 at a time that definitely gets a little bit difficult. So that's kind of where I struggle right now. I'm trying to find something locally that I can definitely make work. And I don't think I would have any problem with any of these vessels if I'm shooting for a 25 to 35, maybe even $40 uh, price, because there's a lot of candles out there, especially if you get to the 16, 20, 20 plus ounces. It's pretty easy to charge 30, $40 for a candle like that because they are very big. You can get some nice vessels. And of course they're gonna burn for a long time. So you can definitely justify the price. But for me, once you start getting 50 and above, and especially more towards 100, like you really have to have something that stands out. Uh, you're definitely gonna be going towards uh, like embossed labels, definitely professional labels, jars that don't scratch uh, and the paint flicks off when you scratch them. You definitely wanna get away from stuff like that. And then of course you're gonna have your custom scents. And that's gonna be one of the big ones right there. Or you're not gonna be buying an oil and pouring it directly out of the bottle. You're probably looking at more customized scents or definitely blended scents. So that nobody's coming up, seeing your candle, opening up, smelling it and just going, that's whatever from this company. I'll just go buy that one for half the price. So that's basically it with this one. This is, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm still coming up with uh, uh, kind of a sideline name along with the candle. I'd like to call it something. Uh, that I'll kind of uh, talk about in later videos, but definitely trying to not really step away from the Stanley name, but a candle by Stanley. So a line by Stanley. So it's something a little bit like that, that kind of steps aside, but it's still within the same family of the Stanley handcrafted candle line. And I'm definitely making some moves on that one, definitely making some headway. Uh, it, things are starting to come together. I, I kind of know where I want to go, but of course, nailing the vessel is going to be the biggest one. And then of course, once I get down with that, I'll start actually focusing on the label. Uh, I don't want to touch the labels or come up with the label right now just because, well, for one, I don't know what the vessel is. So trying to figure out a label that I really like and then the vessel changes, it may change the entire label, the shape, the fonts, the colors, anything like that. So I'm trying to hold off on that one, which I really struggle with because I actually like coming up with all the branding. So I'm definitely trying to hold off on that one and not do it because I think I'll just shoot myself in the foot if I do it. And I definitely want to say thank you to all the people that reached out either in the comments or a lot of people emailed me with uh, kind of their thoughts and some suggestions and definitely very good advice on what to look for, what to stay away from as far as a candle line. I had several people reach out to me who have expensive lines, candles out there that are 
uh, 40, $50 plus. Uh, so definitely a huge thank you to you guys for, uh, for sending me any kind of advice like that. A lot of stuff that I hadn't thought of. So I really appreciate the feedback on that. And then of course, I'm always asking for suggestions or thoughts in anything going into this one. So if you guys would like to see anything with this candle line, kind of as I go through these, these different parts, part one, part two, part three, as I finally come out with the full candle line that launches, I would love to hear your feedback, any suggestions. So definitely leave a comment down below because I'm definitely, because I'm going through and trying to read all these so that I can get a full understanding of kind of what I'm taking on with this. <laughs> because I wanna make this as helpful for people out there. I had a lot of people say thank you, they can't wait to watch this entire series because there's a lot of people out there that are trying to do this themselves. And not only do I wanna help the people that are trying to create a, an expensive candle line, but I'm, I wanna also show the people that are just getting started who feel bad about pricing their candles above $10. And there are a lot of people out there, they'll make the jelly jar, which can run you anywhere from two to 250 to $5 and they charge eight to 10. I mean, it's not very much profit. So I want this, I want these set of videos, these different parts that I'm doing uh, to encourage people and show people that it can be done and show people why it's important that you keep your candle prices up a little bit. And by up, I mean up to the point where you're making profit, you can do things like free shipping, you're covering your packaging, you're covering your work, but not up to the point where people feel like it's price gouging someone. So I hope that was at least a little bit informative. Uh, it kind of give you some insight on what I'm thinking. Uh, if you'd like to know anything about the packaging, the jars or anything like that, uh, I've, I'm gonna put the links in the video description down below. So uh, the jars that I'm using, uh, I, I've done videos on a lot of these so far, so everybody should know where they are, but if you don't, I'll put the links in the video description down below. And then of course, all my social media stuff is down below if you want to reach out or follow. Instagram, Facebook, my website, my email address if you wanna reach out. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.